shot. Rory, what sport do you play in high school? I play tennis. How many years have you been doing that? Um, started when I was little, but high school I've been playing it since sophomore year. Alright, uh, what are your goals for the season? Make it to state, make it back to state, and make it farther than we did last year. And get a seed. That'd be nice. How do you concentrate when your team's having a tough season? Um, you just kind of have to focus. You can't let the other teams get in your head. You can't get down, because then you're just going to keep losing. So, you just got to concentrate on winning. Just consistency and all that's important. Right. Did anyone inspire you to play the sport? No. I'd say the reason I probably played was because my dad, because he kind of threw me into lessons. And then because he played, so I was kind of stuck with it. Chris, what sport do you participate in? I run track. Do you like it? I love it. Do you have future plans with the sport? Yeah, why not running at UW Whitewater next year? And I heard you just broke the school record. How do you feel about that? I feel great. Really great. Really, really great. Did anyone inspire you to play the sport? Um, my cousin, Matt Lugley, state record holder <laughs> in Wisconsin. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Jansen. Hello, Carter. How many years have you been coaching track and field? I've been coaching track and field uh, 24 years, um, all here at Bayport High School. So right when I got out of college, I uh, started coaching here at Bayport. Why did you choose to coach this sport? Well, for uh, many reasons. One, um, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a high energy person, uh, and, and I wanted to coach. I've always loved coaching. I was really into basketball when it first started. Um, a good friend of mine and someone I looked up to when I graduated from here, uh, John DeMerit, was a head ba uh, track coach at the time, and I thought it'd be awesome to work with him. It was kind of suggested. I talked with him, and um, I was more of a cross country guy in high school. Um, but I, I did uh, run through middle school and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and so I was drawn to it, and I fell in love with it, and I've loved it ever since. You know, a person battling the, how far they can jump, throw, how far they can run, how fast, etc. How would you focus a team if they're having a rough season? You know, rough seasons, uh, over 24 years, um, we've had some outstanding seasons, many championships, but we've also had seasons of high expectations that didn't necessarily go as planned. And when you run into those bumps in the road or when things aren't going your way, obviously you, you've got to take solace in uh, what you're able to accomplish and set realistic goals. I think one of the problems uh, that makes a lot of people unhappy is that they, they have an exaggerated sense of self or they set goals that are unrealistic. I think uh, if you can get people to set realistic goals and teams to set realistic goals and accomplish them, then you set another goal that's even bigger and you achieve that goal. If you constantly set outrageous goals and don't accomplish them, it's hard to find a, a happiness and a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. Now obviously inside you can always desire that, but I like to kind of get the team focused on one goal at a time, up for that big goal, conference championship, or a birth at sectional, or to get to state. And sometimes you can take the team too and realize that track's unique. That it's an it's a our, our team sport is a, a hodgepodge. It's a, a substance basically. It's a collection of individual performances. So to help focus a team, you have them really focus on their individual sport. Like you a hurdler, do your job in the one tens, and then good things will happen for the team. How many more years do you hope to coach? I don't know, Carter. That's a good one. I guess uh, I thought uh, about 15 years ago, 15 was enough, <laughs> then 20, now with 24 in. Um, I've got uh, daughters that run uh, at the high school. I love coaching. I don't see myself ever not doing that. It's hard to, it's such a part of my life, you know, since I was uh, right out of college. It's been, uh, you know, the amount of time you put into coaching is incredible, and I couldn't imagine giving that up right now. Um, so I really can't answer how much longer. Maybe, maybe 10 more years.